hi guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is nancy and if you are new to my channel you are also welcome kindly subscribe share and like my videos and also put on your notification bell to be notified when i upload new tutorials so in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i made this beautiful trendy net dress this is called an ankara print fabric and i made use of just two yards why the black fabric is called a soft net and i made use of just three yards for a plus size person you should use four yards if you don't want to use the net you can make use of organza fabric so take note that this is the width of the fabric why this is the length of the fabric which is by 60. now from this tip i held it down with my finger to fold this fabric in form of a triangular shape so that is the first fold now for the second fold i would hold the top of the triangle again to fold it in form of a triangular shape so i practically folded this fabric into four So the next important thing you should take note of is that this side of the fold should be placed in form of a straight line. The next step is to mark the shoulder measurements. My shoulder measurement divided by 2 is 7.5 inches. So I added extra 1 inch allowance to the shoulder measurement which made it 8.5 inches altogether. Now I placed my tape horizontally from the top of the fabric. To adjust it so i get to where the wideness of the fold is on 8.5 inches so it's on 8.5 inches the next thing is to rule the shoulder line so i want you to take note that this net dress is actually bigger than the inner dress that was worn so that was the reason i added extra one inch to the shoulder measurements all right the next step is to mark the length of the net so the actual length of my dress is 56 inches but i want the length of the ankara at the bottom of the net to be 15 inches long this simply means i will subtract 15 inches from the actual full length of my dress so 56 minus 15 will give me 41 inches so the length of the net i need for my dress is 41 inches now i placed my tape from this line i chopped which is the shoulder line so i'm supposed to mark 41 inches but i added half inch in allowance to reach the bottom of this net to be attached to the ankara so it became 41 and half inches so the next thing i did was to adjust the starting of my tape directly on the shoulder line to keep marking a length of 41 and a half inches continuously All right, so the next step is to trim the bottom of the dress. The next step is to mark the neck width. From this side of the fold, I placed my tape on the shoulder line to mark four and a half inches. For a plus size person, you should mark five inches. 
the next step is to mark the neck depth the neck depth is one inch take note that this neck depth is for just the back piece alone but because this fabric is folded into four i'm also going to be marking the neck depth for the front piece as well so the neck depth for the front piece is three and a half inches now i connected the neck depth to the neck width to form a curved neckline now i marked one inch below the tip of the shoulder measurement to connect this point to the neck width as shown now i place the measuring tape vertically from the tip of the shoulder slope to mark my arm or circumference divided by two then connected the point to the tip of the shoulder slope as shown now i would extend this point to form an horizontal line and this line will be called the bust line On the ham hole line, I placed my tape to mark the midpoint and connected the midpoint to the bust line to form the ham hole curve. On the bust line, I placed my bust circumference divided by 4 and added extra 3.5 inches allowance to that because I don't want the dress to be tight. So on this side of the fabric, I marked one inch, and this will help me to eliminate any sharp edges on that side. And extended the line to the bust line as shown. And the next thing I did was to add half inch sewing allowance to the top of the shoulder slope, to which both the front piece and the back piece of the shoulders will be attached together. Now I'll be cutting out. The neckline for just the back piece first. So I went ahead to unpin the fabric, take out the back piece. Now on the front piece, I'll be trimming out the front neckline. And on the back piece of this dress, I'll be making a center neck slit. And the length of this slit is 5 inches. So I've slitted it and this is what I have here. Kindly take note that if you're using a good quality net, you don't have to make a facing for the neck slit. So I'll be leaving it this way. Alright, so this is the Ankara that will be attached to the bottom of the net. So recall I deducted 15 inches for the length of the Ankara. So when cutting the Ankara fabric, make sure you have extra 3 inches to the length. Like mine, it's 18 inches here. And the reason for adding this extra length to the Ankara is because the bottom of the net isn't straight. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So now I folded the Ankara into two. Then I placed the bottom of the front piece directly on the starting of the Ankara fabric. Looking at it, you would see that the M of the net isn't straight but curvy. So what I did was to trace out the shape at the bottom of the net. So from this line I chopped, I placed the starting of my tape directly on this line vertically downwards to mark the exact length 
of the Ankara I need, which is 15 inches. But because of the sewing allowance at the end, I added one inch to that, which made it 16 inches altogether. Getting to the end of this line, I made a slant line. Alright, so because I would be attaching the Ankara to the bottom of this net by half inches, I added extra half inches to the top of the Ankara. Now I will go ahead to trim this out. It is important to notch the center of the net and to also notch the center of the Ankara. So one thing I did again was place this Ankara on my main Ankara fabric to cut out exactly the same shape so that I would use that in attaching the back piece of the net. So this is the front piece of the net. I placed my Ankara fabric directly on the bottom of this net making sure that the notched parts aligned together. Now I'll take this to the sewing machine to stitch by half inch. Alright, so this is the back piece of the net. So I'll do the same by placing the duplicated piece of the Ankara on the bottom of the back piece as shown. To stitch by half inch. So after stitching the Ankara to the dress, you will observe that the same allowance is showing. So the best thing to do is to place it below the Ankara and top stitch directly on the right side of the Ankara as shown. So I will do the same for the other back piece of this dress. Now I've top stitched the Ankara and it is obvious that the seam isn't showing anymore. So this is the back piece of the dress and I also top stitched the Ankara. So the next step is to place the front piece of this dress directly on the back piece of this dress to stitch the shoulders by half inch. After attaching the shoulders together, the next thing I did was to cut a little piece in form of a bias tape from this net. I placed the tape on one side of the next slit and made sure I extended the tape by one inch outward, then folded it under. Now I'll take this to my sewing machine to stitch around the neckline by half inch and when I got to this other end, I also folded it in by one inch. Now I'm going to turn the edges of the tip. I made a little loop for the button. Then I folded it into two equally and placed it directly on the edge of the next slit. Then I used the bias tape to hold it. I went ahead to take this to my sewing machine to stitch directly, following the direction of my chalk all through the neckline. Right, I've successfully secured the loop and the neckline of this dress. The next step is to secure the sides by one inch, following the direction of the chalk. Alright, so I've turned the fabric to the right side and you can see how beautiful this came out. Right, so the next thing I want to do is on how to mark the sleeve measurements. 
I folded my fabric into two and folded the fabric into two again. So I practically folded this fabric into four. And I went ahead to mark the starting line. On my starting line, I placed the tape vertically downwards to mark the cap sleeve line. And on the cap sleeve line, I placed my arm hole circumference divided by two and connected this point to the tip of the starting line as shown to form a slant line. Now I placed my tape on the slant line to mark the midpoint and connected this midpoint to the top of the shoulder line and connected the midpoint below the slant line to meet the cap sleeve line. So I added one inch allowance by the side of the arm hole circumference. The next step is to mark the sleeve length. The full sleeve length is 23 inches. But I want the length of the net on the sleeve to be 15 inches. Now I placed my tape on this line and added one inch sewing allowance to the length which made it 16 inches altogether. Now I placed my tape on the cap sleeve line to take the measurements with the sewing allowance included and placed it on the hem line of this sleeve and added extra 2 inches allowance by the side to connect the points together. So obviously you can tell that it's a bell sleeve. Now I'll trim this out. So this is the Ankara fabric that would be attached to the bottom of the sleeve. I folded this into two. So the length of the sleeve on the net is 15 inches, right? So because of the sewing allowance I would use in attaching it, I would mark 15 inches, making sure that there is like a half inch extra allowance at the top. The full length of my sleeve is 23 inches. So I added one inch to the M, which made it 24 inches. So I adjusted the sleeve to meet the Ankara, then used my measuring tape to extend the sides of the sleeve. And on this head should make a little curve. So I'll just trim out the bottom of the sleeve as shown. Take note that you would be placing this Ankara piece on the main Ankara fabric to cut out another one that would be attached to the second sleeve. Alright guys, so I placed the Ankara piece on the bottom of the sleeve to stitch by half inch. After stitching, I folded the hem below the Ankara to top stitch on the Ankara. After top stitching, I folded the hem of the Ankara in by half inch and further folded it by half inch. The next step is to fold the sleeve into two equally to secure the side by one inch. So the sleeves are ready. I would be attaching the sleeve to the armhole of the dress by half inch. Alright, the next step is to secure the hem of the dress by folding it half inch. And further folding it by half inch. The final step is to attach the bottom to the center back neckline. Alright guys, this is the final outcome of the dress and it looks so beautiful. You should give it a try and if you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe, share and like my videos. And also turn on your notification bell to be notified when I upload new tutorials. 